7.42 a.m. Good morning. Y'all hear my crow saying good morning. Smartest birds in the world, by the way. But literally just turned my app on and within three seconds got this buzz. $15.29. Y'all know my rule. First one you get, first one you take. This one is $15.29. I do got to go 11 miles, but the road that I got to take I can drive 55 on that road, so I am not tripping. There's no cars on the road at 7.42 a.m. I'm going to go get there, knock this out. Uh, it's only going to take me about seven, eight minutes to get there to get the food. Then to drop it off, it's only going to take me about 12 minutes once I get it, because 55 is when I'm going. All right? This day should be exciting. Order like this to start off a Saturday morning should be promising. Let's go. Hello, I have the Uber order from Mark. All right, pick this up. I'm about to hop on this freeway real quick. This idiot's driving so fast. He wants to cut us off to go to the red light to turn to get on the same. Turn left onto the I-215 South ramp. To get on the same entrance that we're all getting on. He didn't want to wait. Wow, I hate that. But anyway, got this and we're driving it there right now. We're getting on the freeway, so therefore I'm, I'm, I'm going to be Continue able to Continue on drive. I-215 South for five miles. I'm going to be able to drive a little faster than I thought I was, so that's going to be good. There's no cars on the freeway also. And the reason I got this order, see, I turned it on. Where I live, the Angelos, there, there should have been another driver over there, but there's not. Uh, and this is why I like to sign on early in the morning because I like to get the, the orders because the other drivers are not up. And when you are one of the only drivers up, you get the surge because there's no drivers around. So I like to do that. And so they sent that to me and that's why I have it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this, drop it off. And literally, if the actual time it takes me to complete this whole drop off is in like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, Oh well, that's fifteen dollars and twenty nine cents, or whatever it is, and twenty nine minutes. That's thirty. That's thirty minutes. So all I gotta do is really just let me just get one more order, and I'm already where I should be. So as far as the hourly thing goes, and it's early enough in the morning that I can uh, play around with the market around here, um, even though I don't want to, because this area here where I'm, I'm, I'm going, the only place it sends you to is a stupid trap to where it's in the middle of nowhere and then you end up going to a place called Temecula for those who don't know about Southern California Temecula is wine country okay a lot of your favorite celebrities and stuff they go to Temecula for wine country um yeah I'm not doing that because that's way too far from home so I'm going to take this I'll play around with whatever's here but if not I'm going to just take back head right on back to get to where the Angelos is and hopefully I get an Angelos and uh, knock that out. But let's go, Saturday morning. And just like I said, I'm driving over to this spot. I'm almost there. They gave me a buzz for $13.29 at the the market, the Paris little me market that's only one market. I know exactly where it is. I stopped there and get tacos, they're super bomb. I'm gonna get that and probably take it to one of these ranchers' houses that I'm going to. Um, Look at that. That's 28 bucks already. 28 bucks already. Let's try to make a good amount today. Let's go. They got me on the side of a road, y'all. I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. It says the thing is here. I am about to hit. I have arrived and I'm going to call this person because this is ridiculous. I got to get to get this 13 something to add this in. I got here in the time I said. So now let's get this one so we can get this one in so we can really make that into the 30 something for the hour because I'm planning on flipping both of these because I didn't came damn near to the boonies. Now, how am I supposed to see this from this road? This is ridiculous. You about to watch this whole experience. You're about to watch this whole experience. And it's a leave that door and it says to put it in the back on the porch. Now you were gonna see where the back on the porch is. Watch this shit. Watch this. This is a must see. Put it back on the porch. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna put it back on the porch. Let's turn and watch. I got the box. This box, the box, the address not being seen. I'm walking under a forest. Feel good though. Okay. It says you leave. What's good, man? I got you right here. I came to get you. I know you wanted some Angelos. You have to order it from over here. Yeah, I'm always ordering from that place, man. Right? They got some good food. You never had it? Oh, I eat there all the time. I live by it. Oh, so, uh, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and lace you down. Let me get it out the box nice and hot for you, just like it came right from there. All right, man. You have a good one, man. All you right. enjoy. You have a great day. All right. All right. Drop that off. And I see where I got to go for this one. They want me to go downtown city of Paris. All right. Only thing that happens from downtown city of Paris is, like I said, you will end up going to Lake Elsinore. Uh, there's a place called Sun City that's all retirement. The whole city is retirement. Sun City. Um, once I get there, I'm turning the app off and I'm driving back home. It's early enough in the morning to drive on back. Um, I'm going to take my $30 and some change. Hopefully I get this tip for this dude. You guys saw how this was. Um, and hopefully I get a tip from the other one so I can drive back and be good because Saturday I want to be back by the hot spot 369 ramen sushi. Let's go. The Lone Ranger is here to serve a little food justice. Actually, I was right. They got me on the 7th Street that's closer to Hemet. Right now, I'm on the 74. This road takes you straight to Temecula. And they got me at the Family Basket. This burger place is bomb. One day I was driving back and I stopped because I needed something to eat. And this place is fire. Take a look at this place. Bam! Look at the sign. Yeah, that's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's good. Let's go inside, make it happen. Nice and busy in here. Good morning. I have the Uber order for Aaron. Well, this actually worked out perfect. Dropping it off, it's taking me all the way back home. I'm only um four lights Take away. Take the next left onto Mega Street, then turn left onto Gold Rush Street. I'm only four lights away from being back in Moreno Valley. Um, so that's perfect. So this did absolutely the best for me. All right, so just dropped that off. That dude was, looked like a hell's angel, but he for real was in jail. He had the AB on him, but that's in jail, not outside. He still had to get grabbed. He had an order with this issue. <clears throat> they forgot the drink but I have to show him that this is the actual order that they wrote down he realized it was not my fault always be prepared people people will try to blame things on you he realized that it wasn't me I showed him how to go ahead and uh, complain about what he missed to get a refund for the item or the whole meal on whatever it was he said okay so hopefully I get a tip from that one and a tip from the first one uh, we got 28 bucks there, but I got a ding right now for, I'm going to McDonald's right here at Ramona Expressway, right here at the very next light. It's $7.17. So that puts us at $35 right now. Okay. I started at $7.47. Okay. It's $9.03. So this is $35 in just a little over an hour. Okay. So this is also another opportunity that I can use to try to flip it and receive extra on the tip, okay? So hopefully I get tips from the first two and this one. So we got three chances that I'm gonna be working on, two that I have worked on. Hopefully we can go ahead and flip these and make some more money, turn this $35 into $50 in under two hours, okay? Let's see if we can make that happen, but let's go ahead and pick this up. So what just happened was I ran into a brand new driver. It's always good to run into brand new dri drivers. 
It's good to give them information and not hold nothing back. Gave them the information to the channel, everything. He can go ahead, see what it is, and see how we do it. We flip, flip, flip. Treat them with kindness, and we make our money. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. After that last order, I went home, took a break really quick for about an hour. Now I am back on the road, actually an hour and a half. It's right now 10.55 and just drove up to my hot spot. My wife beat me up here, but got the buzz for um, Starbucks, which is right here. It's $8.79. I'm dropping it off a couple of miles from here, but we do have a tip alert, tip alert. The Lone Ranger came through with that food justice and that last order i did get them to tip extra it says that they even tip more uh after nice i'll go ahead and put that up so you guys can see and that was a leave at door so that is proof that you can flip and increase your tip on the leave at door there was no contact there all i did was go in with my box they had a, a webcam, a, a ring doorbell thing, and they were watching me open my box, take their stuff out, and it was a McDonald's order. McDonald's is already placed in the bag. So I took it out of a box while it was already secured. So they gave me an extra tip. They said that was worth more than what they initially paid for. That's the whole thing. So instead of getting the 50, I finished up at the 40. Uh, for that little period. So that was $40 and my active time on that was one hour and 35 minutes So that was one hour and 35 minutes and $40. Okay, so now this 879 this one I got it right now So as far as active time it goes in so we're gonna be looking at closer to $50 for two hours. That's how we do it. Let's run in here and pick this thing on up. Let's get it That's uh, the Uber order for Berlin. Berlin? Yep. Well, that order did not go through. So what I did was I called customer support because I'm here. Instead of getting the $8.79 or whatever it was, I got $3 for showing up, which is, you know what, almost half. So if it was an $8 order, it's almost half. So that's not bad. That adds into the bank. Remember, no blank trips. There's a lot of drivers who would have just hit cancel and then would have hit someone else picked it up. You don't get paid your prop 22, the extra time that you spent when you hit accept to get here, you don't get paid any of that. So what I do is I call customer support because I am still actively on the call for the order. All the time to wait on hold on customer support, you're getting paid for that. From the time it's canceled out and you get your $3 driver's pay for short showing up. So in reality, this order here, I got paid the $3 for the driver compensation, but for me driving here and doing the wait in Starbucks first for them to figure it out, then to come and call and do all that, I got paid. So it ended up being, this order is like a $7.50 order, which is not bad, so I still won. That's why you do it. Get yours, okay? On to the next. Okay, so we are on our way to Pyology right here. We had a little bit of downtime for about 20 minutes, but that's okay because this order is $11.56, something like that. Forgot what it was, but it is 11 and some change, which means this is another way, another opportunity. So we can try to flip this 11 into at least 15 bucks by way of increasing the tip. Now, this is Pyology. This is the home of the bite-sized pizzas for the bite-sized people. Um, this person ordered one pizza, one bite-sized pizza, and he overpaid for this bite-sized pizza. But I do not care because I'm getting paid well for this bite-sized pizza. With Prop 22 added in here, this 11 is like 17. I'm not tripping, but... I wanna go ahead and make me some extra tip. So we will be flipping this one by showing up with one little bite-sized pizza in my jumbo box. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm picking up the Uber Eats order for Christian. This is perfect. They doubled me up. So I got an order right here for Miguel's Jr. 
So I'm gonna pick this one up too. So now that's a double up. So since I'm on the same um, order, it's gonna count as one drop off of two separate addresses because they gave it to me while I was at the place. And Miguel Jr. is right here, right next door. So I'm gonna drive here, right next door, pick this order up and see where I'm dropping this one off at. Okay, so this makes order number five. So this is another opportunity to flip this one into a tip. So I love that part about it. Love that part about it. Let's run inside here and pick this up. Both those drop-offs were both leave that door. Both people had ring doorbells. I did the exact same thing. The only thing different I did with this one and the other one was on the Pyology order, Pyology did not put the one pizza box inside the big bag like they normally do. So because it was not in the bag, when I took the picture in my box, I placed it on, they had a chair that was relatively close to the door. I took a picture of it in the box and I put, put a note. I said, left on chair, off of floor. I have a rule. I don't like to put food on the floor. So if I have an opportunity to not put the food on the floor, to show respect because I don't like that either, I don't put it on the floor. So because I did that, that's something else that's a little extra. Uh, I might get a tip because they will put I handled their food with care and things like that. So I shoot for things that most people will not do. And then that's how I get the tips also. This next one, I took the picture and their chair is directly in front of their door. They have a glass door, completely see-through glass door so that they can see their stuff on the chair. So that was it. But on to the next, let's go. That wasn't bad at all, right? When I said on to the next, within two seconds, I'm right here at the parking lot. The KFC is right here. It's a $10.72 trip. Not bad, not bad. That means that every order this morning, uh, except for the, uh, the one that canceled out, has been over $11, okay? So that's good. Every order has been above $11. So we're picking this one up after that uh, last double dip digit. Let's get this one, let's drop this off uh, and let's see if we can flip this one too. So, so far uh, we flipped from the ones from earlier. We flipped two of those earlier, okay? We flipped two, I just checked, we flipped two. The other one added in an extra $2. So we flipped two of those, all right? So this is gonna be order number six. If I can flip this one, that's flipping half of my orders to getting extra money. That's how you make more people. Let's go ahead and do it. We grab the KFC. Normally the line is a little bit longer because it is chicken, takes a little bit longer to cook. But when I got the order, I was literally in front of this shopping center and I only had to drive like 150 feet to get to the KFC. Okay, and it says that my drop off is 1.6 miles away. So $11 for 1.6 miles away for you people that are into the numbers like that, then that is a winner, winner chicken dinner. Let's see here. Now, for everyone that's new. Take the next right onto Iris Avenue. For everyone that's new, when I say flip the order, to receive a tip. Now, some people might be confused because there's tips already included in majority of the orders, okay? Unless you're doing Postmates order specifically, those come after no matter what, okay? So the tips are included no matter what. I'm talking about from them already tipping, flipping that and having them tip you more on top of that because you're doing a really great job. In a quarter job. mile, turn left onto Kitchen Street. So that's what I mean by flipping it and, and getting a tip. There's already a tip that they put. They already tip. I'm talking about changing that tip and having them tip more 
to flip your order to earn more, even above the tip that's already there. That's what I'm all about. That's how you make more. Um, a lot of people don't think like this, but I come from a sales background exclusively, and this is what I do. If there's an opportunity, if there's a will, if there's a way, then I'm going to shoot it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the shot to make sure I get an extra commission. If they say this is standard, I don't wanna be standard, I wanna be above standard. Go from good to great. So that's what I mean by flipping the order. Turn left onto Kitchen Street. So that's what I mean by flipping the order. I thought that car was gonna hit me, but, but it's not. But that's what I mean by flipping the order. Try to get extra. And like I've been do doing on uh, these leave at doors, no contact, you can still flip that by showing exactly what you're doing majority of the people now have a ring doorbell and they are watching or they have cameras up there they are watching you do what you are doing so conduct yourself in that way and you'll make way more money forget everyone else just worry about you we're firing off i'm still driving to drop this one off just got an order for mcdonald's it's a, it's a really cheap order but i don't care because i flip it it's a $4.12 order, picking up right here at the McDonald's, right here on Iris, right in the neighborhood where I'm dropping this off at, and I'm gonna drop it right back off in this same neighborhood. So I'm only going less than half a mile uh, to pick it up, and less than half a mile to drop it off. It's $4.12, but we know the goal and know the rule. Upsell, upsell, upsell. Always try to flip this and gain more. It's a $4.12 uh, delivery, so my goal is to try to make this $4 into at least $6.50. At least $6.50. Get a little, get a little extra. I know some people are like... Turn left onto Brussels Lane, then your destination will be on the right. I know some people are like, why just $2.50? Well, think about it. When people are selling cell phones and stuff in commission, that's what they're getting paid for accessories. Easy. Hey there, Dante. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Small world, small world, small world. What's up, Ermin? When you watch this, man, what's up, man? I'm giving you a shout out right now. What's up, Ermin? Ran into, uh, I used to work at a place and I was one of the training managers there, the training specialist, and ran into someone who I trained who uh, ended up being, worked really well for the company, driving equipment and all that stuff. And with a small world, he's doing this. He's doing a he's doing DoorDash. So gave him some uh, info. He subscribed to my channel because he know I give info. He know how I gave it when he was training. Now I'll give it the same. Give it the same. So we did that. We're about to drop this off. Okay. But more importantly, I want to let people know that you see how this job is that people work other places are like you can make more. And once they realize, you know, the outcome on how you utilize yourself, they go ahead and get it done. So that was good to see. What's up, Ermin, once again? Now you saw me this one time doing it. You're going to see me a whole bunch of times over and over and over again. So welcome to the club. Brand new driver. Hope you make a whole lot. Keep watching these videos, bro. Just dropped that order off, <clears throat> so that completes that. Gonna wait for these tips to roll on in, <clears throat> okay? Don't know what's gonna happen, but I should know in about an hour or two. Okay, it's 1.37, y'all know my rule, get it in before two o'clock. Um, it's either the orders, the trips, or the money. Considering I started off earlier this morning and I got some extra trips in, I am right where I need to be. Okay, I'm right where I need to be. I'm at $75 right now on two hours. <clears throat> it shows two hours and 40 minutes of actual time being on the clock. So that's not bad at all, $75 for that. I'm gonna stop right now because I'm gonna start back at dinner time. And at dinner time, it's Saturday night. I'm probably gonna just try to work for three hours and 
in those three hours, try to make a hundred dollars in three hours. Um, and see what happens, see how many tips we can flip. But until that time, the Lone Ranger, the man here that's serving a little food justice, see y'all later. Peace.